Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Chrome OS Flex, which is the new lightweight operating system from Google, which is going to allow you to turn your old MacBook Pro into an up-to-date Chromebook. So one of the main advantages of this is that we're going to be able to take older hardware that Apple no longer supports, and then we're going to be able to install an up-to-date operating system onto it. Today we're going to be installing Chrome OS Flex on my early 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I can only use Mac OS High Sierra, so it's severely out of date and it's kind of low powered and not great. And an operating system like Chrome OS Flex might do wonders for this machine in this particular use case. So today I'm gonna to be building the installer using a USB stick. So today I'm using the SanDisk 32 gigabyte Ultra Flare USB 3.0. This is 32 gigabytes. You only actually need eight gigabytes in order to create the installer. However, any size will do, bigger doesn't really matter. And I'm also gonna be using this USB A to USB-C adapter. You're gonna need this if you're using any modern Mac which only has USB-C ports. So I'm gonna leave a link to these devices in the description. You can go ahead and buy them if you don't have them already. So to check whether your model is actually supported, what we can do is to check the Chrome OS Flex help page. So here it states that Apple MacBook Pros from 5.5 all the way to 9.2 are all supported. So that basically ranges from 2008 to mid 2012. Today we're gonna to be installing Chrome OS Flex on the early 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. That's not explicitly stated in this list, but it is within that range. It will work despite the fact that it says that minor issues are expected. Just be aware that this is an early access preview of the operating system. It's not guaranteed to work, but from my experience, this has worked fine so far. So the first step is gonna to be to put the two adapters together and then we're going to plug it into your Mac. So this is my MacBook Pro 2021 with the M1 Max chip. I'm going to use my right-hand side USB-C port here and then go ahead and plug this in. So just be aware that when we create this USB installer, everything in the USB drive is just going to be formatted. So make sure you remove any important documents you have on that. So the next thing we're going to do is to open up the Chrome web browser. So make sure that you have Chrome installed on your Mac already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chromebook Recovery Utility page. And then what we're gonna do is to go to the Chrome Recovery Utility extension page. So this is an extension for the Google Chrome browser, which is gonna allow us to load up the software onto the USB drive. So when we get to the Chrome Recovery Utility page, I'm gonna press the Add to Chrome button here. Here, I'm gonna click Add Extension. And now it's been added onto my Chrome browser. So what I need to do is to click on the top right-hand side of the screen, this Extensions button here, and then press on the word itself. And that's gonna load up the Chromebook Recovery Utility. Next, we're gonna press Get Started. And then what we're gonna do is identify our Chromebook. Obviously, we're not installing it on a Chromebook, we're gonna be installing it on a MacBook. So what we're gonna do is to click select a model from the list. Next, we're gonna press select a manufacturer. I'm gonna scroll down, then we're gonna find Google Chrome OS Flex. Then we're gonna go down again and select a product. And then we're gonna go down and click select a product. I wanna select Chrome OS Flex Developer Unstable. So I'm gonna select this one now, and then I'm gonna press continue here. And then we've already inserted our USB drive. What we're gonna do is select this in the list here. This is the SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0. I'm gonna select this now, then we're gonna press continue. And then we're gonna press create now. That's gonna wipe everything from this USB drive. We're gonna press create now. So what this process will do is basically download all the software and then put it onto the USB stick. This might take a bit of time, probably about 15 minutes or so. So several times during this media creation process, it's gonna prompt for your password. So it's gonna say auth open, it wants to make changes. We're gonna type in our password here to continue. So just keep letting this recovery image be created. It's gonna do a creation process and also a verification process. This might take a little bit of time. So now it's saying here that the recovery utility has completed and we are ready to move to the next step. So we're gonna press okay. And now I'm going to remove my USB drive. So I'm gonna remove this from my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Then I'm gonna put my Apple Silicon Mac away. So once my MacBook Pro 2011 has been turned off, I wanna turn it on again whilst holding down the option key here. So I'm gonna have this held down and then press the power button. And we'll just kind of wait for this to boot up. Now, normally if you have Mac OS installed on this, it'll say here Macintosh HD, that's the internal drive. However, I've done this already, so this is saying EFI boot. Now I'm gonna take my USB installer that we created earlier, and I'm gonna take off the USB-C adapter, which we don't need anymore. Then I'm gonna plug the USB drive into the USB-A port on the left-hand side. And what that has done is that it has revealed this orange EFI boot icon here. So I'm gonna select this now, and then we're gonna press the continue button here or press return. So for a few moments, this might appear a little bit fuzzy and then it'll turn off. 
So now it's loading up the Chrome installation process. So what we're going to do now is to press get started here. And then we're going to start this installation process. Here we have two options. Firstly, we can actually click try it first. And what that will do is that it will give us a live installation. So that will be running off the USB drive. What this will allow you to do is basically try it out and see if it's for you. Here we're going to be installing Cloud Ready 2.0. That's installing it internally on the internal drive so that we don't need to have anything attached on the side. So what I'm wondering about this is that there is no actual current process to dual boot or multi-boot this operating system. So this is going to wipe everything on your internal drive. So just be aware of that. If you have any important data, you should remove it. Also, if you have multiple data drives, not just an operating system drive, it will probably wipe that as well. So just be aware of that before you continue this process. Disconnect any external drives or any other internal drives you may have attached to your Mac before we continue the next process. So we're going to continue here. I'm going to press next now and then click Install Cloud Ready 2.0. Here I'm going to press Install. So here it's saying that it'll take up to 20 minutes to install. It actually takes a little bit less than that. So just let that continue running. So now that the installation is complete, it's saying here that it's going to shut down in 60 seconds. So I'm going to let this shut down, or you can press the shut down button here and shut down manually. And what I'm going to do now is to remove the USB stick because we don't need this anymore. I'm going to put this to the side, and then I'm going to turn on the MacBook Pro. So you can see here, we're now booting in. We don't have any USBs installed. This is going into the setup menu now. So here now we can press get started and continue the setup process. We're going to connect to my Wi-Fi network and then we're going to press, and then we're going to press the accept and continue button. I'm going to be setting up for myself and press next. So now what we're going to do is to sign into my Google account. If you don't have one, you can just go ahead and create one for free. So here I'm going to press accept and continue on the next step and then accept and continue. Here we're going to press agree and agree. And now I'm going to press get started. So basically we can now see that we have a fully functioning Chromebook like operating system on my old MacBook and this fully works. So if I go to the web browser here, I can use two finger scrolling to go up and down the trackpad. I can open up the webcam and this is all working correctly and it's fully functional. We even have things like the brightness function keys working and also the volume function keys working. We even have the dashboard key working as well, so we can do multiple desktops. So this has really breathed some new life into this old MacBook Pro, which would otherwise be completely unused because it's unsupported and has some security risks. Whereas this version of Chrome OS Flex is pretty much up to date and has all of the latest Chromebook-like functionality here. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to leave some links in the description for everything that you might need. This particular USB SanDisk drive is quite good. I tried some other ones which didn't work quite as well. I'll leave a link to a video which I made about that in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you found the video useful, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.